Hello tarot lovers, this is Mirbet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my top 10 Marseille classic decks. And I have a huge collection of Marseille decks, I do love these decks. But I found that it's so uh, better to divide my, my decks to two parts. So we are going to see today uh, these uh, beautiful classic decks that I have and I want to share it with you. My first deck is this gorgeous deck, Le Tarot Noir. And this is a beautiful, beautiful classic deck that I got. I saw it once on one of the channels and I was really impressed by the quality and the beauty of this deck. So I bought it, um, I think 2014. I'm not sure if it's still available or not, but it is one of my favorite decks. This is the guidebook. It's all, uh, you see the pages are black, very high quality. It is glossy, but you see this chain, but anyhow. And you see a large image of the cards. It's so high quality, it's perfect and it's great, but it's in French, of course. So it's not so helpful for me. And this is the box. It is thin, so the cards are divided to two parts. And this is one of the things that I did not like about the deck. You see the box is like this. It is by Justin Turnell and Matthew Hekrai, and it is published by Vega Editions. Very, very high quality and a gorgeous deck. I think it is 2000 and uh, I think 13, something like that. And the cards are gorgeous, really gorgeous. Look at these uh, uh, lovely bags. So pretty, so elegant. I was really impressed when I saw these cards. They are large, you see. They are the size of an oracle. They are gilded, very high quality. And the cards are fantastic, awesome, really. This, you see, they have this uh, black border and small, like gold in here in the middle. And this beautiful beige background. I'm so happy that there are no white background. <laughs> so here we have the, the fool, so pretty. And this is the magician and the high priestess the empress and this is the emperor the pope the lovers very pretty and this is a beautiful chariot and this is the justice card i do love the hermit too and the wheel of fortune la forza la force and this is the hangman the death card I do love the quality of this deck and the colors, the use of colors. There is not a lot of colors. And I do love the, the, the tower. Look at the tower. So elegant, this small, uh, how do you call it? Small circles. And the bricks are, look at the colors of the bricks. It's fantastic. This is one of my favorite cards. And this is the star card, gorgeous moon card. The Sun, Judgment, the World card, and this is the Ace of Wands. And it is really uh, very pretty, very nice, and a lot of attention to details. So it is really a nice, um, elegant deck. And here we have the Court cards, and this is a beautiful uh, page, uh, Knight. I love the, the horse. And how it looks and this is the queen and the king also the ace of cups is one of my favorite cards in the Marseille uh, style I like the cup it looks so elegant and beautiful so this is a nice deck and um, I first learned how to uh, tarot um, well, my first experience with tarot was with the Rider Waite Smith system and uh, I found later on I started to use Marseille, but I found that reading with Marseille decks or uh, peep decks do really give very accurate readings because you see that you can differentiate between the majors and the minors uh, and the court cards. They do have a very special style, so it makes reading easier. And you know, uh, peep cards when there is no image. You, when I see like here the seven of swords, 
the first word that comes to my mind is, uh, you know, being intelligent, trying to be sneaky somehow. So it is, you get you just get one or two words. So it makes reading really quite accurate and easier. So I do advise uh, you to start reading with those two different systems. I'm talking, of course, for beginners or those who are not so accustomed to the Marseille uh, system. And here are the rest of the cards. So this is a unique deck, very high quality, a beautiful, cohesive deck with really a uh, nice style. See, these are the backs and it looks pretty with this lovely edging and the cards are really fascinating. My second deck is this uh, deck. I think this is the... Yes, this is the Golden Tarot of Marseille, uh, the Golden Tarot of Marseille by Los Carabio. And this is one of the the, uh, the decks that were available in Amazon. It's quite pretty. I got this pouch for the deck and it is, um, look at the backs. I do love the backs and I edged it in this color, the same color of this, uh, of the, this color orange not red this is the brick red i think so i do love it and i trimmed it because i didn't like the white borders and this is a beautiful deck quite simple and straightforward and really nice uh, i love the gold foil it looks really pretty you know elegant and i do uh, have some of these golden uh, decks that uh, Los Carabeo had, like the Botticelli, Golden Botticelli, the Golden uh, Renaissance de deck, and they are really very high quality and uh, quite reasonable. So it is a beautiful, shiny deck, and I love the Ace of Wands with these colors. Very pretty. Look at this. And the Valet. I don't know if you prefer it, you like it. I don't like that, the, you know, I wish it was larger, and um, I don't know, when I trimmed it, I feel that some small part of the card is not available. It's, it's, it's so like trimmed like this. You know how I can't explain it. I don't know how to find the proper words. But I felt that it needed more space, you know, upwards. I don't know. But I, it, it's much better than having the white borders. That's my only thing that I don't like about this deck. But rather than that, I do love it. It's beautiful and shiny and so easy to read with. So this is my second deck, the Golden um, uh, Tarot of Marseille by Los Carabeo. They have, they have the most wonderful backs. The backs are really gorgeous and I love my edging. And that was my second deck. And then I have this gorgeous deck. This is the Masonic Tarot deck by uh, by John uh, John John. Uh, let me do the name properly. By Po? No 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 no. What's the name of the guy? Jean Bouchard, I think. Jean Bouchard, yes. Um, and this is a beautiful old deck, quite unique. I went, John Boucher, yes. I, I searched for this gorgeous deck uh, a lot because it is, I got it from eBay. It was a used, a used copy. It was quite uh, difficult to find. It's uh, published in France, 1987. Very, very beautiful deck. Gorgeous, really. The guidebook is amazing. It's in three languages, French, English, and German. And it is quite gorgeous, very nicely written. And the cards are stunning. These are the bags. I'm not a fan of the bags. Uh, and they are really amazing. I adore this deck. This is the Fool. Very unique and very powerful. And look at the magician. The images are great. And this gold ink you find here and there. It's so powerful. This is the High Priestess. Adorable. And this is the Empress card. A lot of signs. 
uh, and you see these Hebrew words, it's so powerful and so uh, intense. And here we have the emperor. And this is the hierophant. This is the lover's card. You see the combination between the sun and moon. It's really nice. And this is the chariot card. So this is a, a great deck for uh, for advanced readers. It's really powerful. And this is the justice card. I do love it. I do love this justice powerful card. Look at the her uh, the background all in red. And she, uh, the the scales and the people there all waiting for the, you know, for her judgment. It's really gorgeous. And the hermit, you see here is a Saturn. And the wheel of fortune. The strength card, quite powerful and impressive. And this is the hanged man. This is the death card also gorgeous really nice you see and the temperance card i fell in love with this deck and this is one of my favorites this is the devil and here we have the uh, tower the star adorable moon card i love the moon card and this is the sun card judgment the world card and here are the court cards uh -huh, court cards these are the minors the the ones and let me show you the court card this is the page the knight of ones the queen and the king and then the cups i do love also the small borders and we have here the court cards and this is the is a suit of swords and here we have the court cards i love this queen of swords and then the pentacles the use of color is really uh, gorgeous the quality of the cards is very impressive the quality is really uh, gorgeous and uh, this is one of my out of print decks, uh, very valuable to me, quite um, quite important, and one of my uh, the best decks that I have in my collection. You see, these are the backs, and I did not edge it. I'm not planning to do so. And these are the beautiful, beautiful cards. So that was my uh, one of the gems of my collection. This is the Tarot Masonique. And then I have this gorgeous Italian deck that I just purchased. It's the Tarocci di Marsiglia. And this is a beautiful deck that I got from Amazon uh, Italy. And I like the packing. The box is really nice. And the guidebook is in Italian, of course. So it's of no use to me. And then the cards are stunning. These are the backs. I did edge it in this color to match the colors of the cards. And I do love the size. You know, these decks that are long and vertical in this uh, uh, long and like rectangular. I do love this, these decks much more than the normal size that we have. And the cards are really thick and very nice. So this is a beautiful classic deck. Amazing. I got a couple of Italian decks uh, from uh, Amazon Italy and I'm so happy with them. They all have this size. Look at this Wheel of Fortune. It's amazing. They all have this size and um, I like these cards. These long cards I do adore. And this is the Devil. And the, the colors are so remarkable and they are. it has this vintage feel to it. So I do love it so much. This is, these are the suit of uh, ones. Here we have the valet, the, the, the knight, the queen, and the king. And I love, always I love the, the ace of cups in the Marseille decks. It's so uh, playful and elegant. These are the miners. 
the court cards of the cup the suit of cups and the swords it's really amazing look at the colors that are used it's stunning this is the valet the cavalier and the queen king ace of uh, coins two of coins and here are the court cards so this is a gorgeous deck a beautiful beautiful deck uh, the italian marseille the, the it is Tarocci di Marsiglia. And these are the backs. My edging. And I love the cards. And the color of the cards. They are matte. And they uh, it's not so easy to shuffle. They are not so easy to shuffle. Because they are thick. Uh, so that was uh, something that I wanted to mention. And then. Uh, I don't have any space here. Okay. Let me do that. Okay, and then I have this uh, Visconti Sforza deck, the Pierpont Morgan deck, and this is by US Games, a gorgeous deck. Look at the packing, and I do love it. It's one of a kind, these decks, really, the, these classic decks, and the guidebook is nice. Uh, it talks about the history and it is a gorgeous deck. Also, the, 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 the size is adorable. These are the backs. So pretty. And I edged it in this color to match the borders. And the quality of the cards is amazing. This is a beautiful, uh, historical, amazing deck that has quite powerful energy. Look at this gorgeous uh emperor uh, this is the pope it's gorgeous and the lovers and i like the vintage feel of this deck and the style of uh, uh, the artwork it's stunning it takes you back to these old days and i mean it is gorgeous reading with these uh, vintage decks is very special it's of course not a deck that i turn to all the time but it has very powerful uh, energy. And I do adore the miners with these beautiful, intricate flowers. I love the miners. These are the ones. Very playful and pretty. And here is the, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And I love the Ace of Cups. I do like it so much, really. The, peep, the, the the miners are stunning. And here is the Valley of Cups. The Knight, the Queen and the King. The Swords, Suit of Swords. It looks so antique and vintage, really. And the colors and the, st the quality of the cards is gorgeous. And here we have the Court Cards of the Suit of Swords. Pentacles. Really nice. And the court cards. So that was my uh, Visconti Sforza deck uh, by US Games. It's a very beautiful deck and I really highly recommend it. These are the bags and I do love my edging. And it's a gorgeous vintage deck that has very, very powerful energy. And so I, I, I will move on to another uh, Visconti deck. Let me keep these cards away because they will. Uh, I don't want them to get ruined. This is the Visconti di Modron Tarot. And this is a gorgeous, stunning deck. Amazing. It's by Los Carabeo. The box opens this way. And this is the guidebook. It was not cheap, but it's worth every penny. Look at the guidebook. Very impressive. And the cards are stunning. This is the box, very high quality, and the guidebook, and it closes this way, and the cards are just stunning. Look at the backs. They are really very large, quite large. I did uh, edge it in this color, the same color of the border, and it's a piece of art, really a piece of art. I did um, the gold in the back and these uh, borders 
with the small silver flowers it is just stunning and this is the high priestess very beautiful the empress with her golden gown and the silver very the the combination of gold and silver with the borders and the intricate design and even the gold is just you see it there is a motif there it is really a piece of art this is the emperor it's gorgeous and this is the pope look at his gown i mean it is just a piece of art this is the lover's card beautiful the boy in silver and the lady in gold amor and this is the chariot amazing it is stunning really this is the justice card the hermit i hope you can see the the quality of this deck and this is the wheel of fortune i think so yes this is the wheel of fortune look at the image someone here is quite burdened and someone is going down and this is going up and she's in the uh, in a very good position so it is really stunning and the 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 strength card is gorgeous and her gown is just stunning this is the hanged man and you need you see these coins falling from his cup from the cups this is the death card and i love the um, the temperance card it is stunning i mean it is it is really stunning this is the devil and the tower amazing star card it is really stunning and this is the moon card the sun judgment and the world card very very beautiful and then ah uh, this deck has uh i think one two three these are extra card the virtues three extra uh, majors and then also the court cards are uh, i think one extra if i remember because i don't use it a lot look at this uh the miners are stunning with the silver background and then uh the gold on top it's gorgeous and then the court cards are five one two three four five six court cards so there is this is the page male and female the knight male and female the queen and the king so it's quite a large deck and this is the ace of cups gorgeous the two of cups it is really stunning a piece of art a collector's deck i of course i don't use it a lot because it's really it's not easy to handle and um it is too too much to be used every day so this is these are the court cards the two pages the two uh, uh, um, uh knights the queen and the king and then here is, are the swords stunning of course the court cards these are the knights the king and the queen pentacles it's gorgeous and look at these the coins are different each has a different uh, image i love it i really it is stunning it's a piece of art and here are the court cards so that was the visconti di modron deck a huge collector's deck very very high quality and uh, a stunning deck and I did um, a comparison deck between uh, these two Visconti decks. If you are interested, you will find it on my channel. 
and then we move on uh, to see my next deck this is a beautiful uh, amazing deck very uh, very old it's the uh, vachetta tarot and this is a russian deck i do love it so much and this is also i got from i think from ebay the guidebook is not helpful it's all in uh, russian these are the backs i did edge it in green and i love this sweet card this deck i use it a lot it is stunning the quality of the card is very nice it's an easy to read with deck easy to handle and it is so detailed and so cute this is the uh, the high priestess the empress and the emperor it is beautiful and full of details and quite unique and here is the i love this lover's card and this is the chariot and justicia this is the justice card hermit the wheel of fortune it's all in uh, in russian but of course i can it's easy to know and this is the death card temperance beautiful the devil and this is the tower the star card beautiful moon card adorable sun card and the judgment very unique very beautiful and very friendly and oh, the green borders and the green background it is so uh, peaceful i like the green it's the color of the heart chakra and i do love it and these are the but the the night uh, night the the ones this is the ace of ones and so it is giovanni vachetta taro and this is the the two of ones adorable very cute and this is the three of ones the four of ones i like that the miners have something each card is a little bit different there are small intricate uh addings to this uh to the card and here is the eight of uh ones the nine of ones the ten and here are the court cards the ace of cups very beautiful friendly oh, i love it really i re i use it a lot because it's um it's really a, a um, an easy to handle deck and it's really cute it has very positive energy and here is the king of cups the swords very nice the three of swords the four so they are different each one of the miners is really uh, well thought of here is the nine and ten the page the knight the queen and king the coins beautiful really look at the two of coins very interesting and the three of coins this is an adorable deck and i found it on ebay i fell in love with it immediately and i have never seen it on any channel these are the the dinaris the pentacles and the queen and the king this is a favorite deck of mine this is the Giovanni Vachetta Taro, the Russian version, and it is nice that it is Russian, so that I don't have to. Uh, you rely completely intuitively. You read it intuitively. Look at the cards, gorgeous. So that was another deck that I wanted to share, and then I have this uh, Tarot de Alchemist by John Bouchard, and this is his second deck. After getting the Masonic Tarot, I, when I saw this, I could not resist it. I got it from Amazon five six years ago uh, it's quite beautiful and this is the book it's all in french i think yeah it's all in french and the cards are really very beautiful let me show it to you these are the backs i love the backs and i trimmed it and edged it in this metallic blue uh, I didn't like the white borders of course i did not want to destroy my masonic tarot so i decided to try this one i try it on if it will look nice or not so i trimmed it 
but uh, honestly i think i do regret that i trimmed it this is the fool and this is the magician four elements this is the high priestess is Isis. it's quite alchemical lots of alchemical uh, uh, symbols and this is sapienta is the empress adam is the emperor the priesthood is the priest i like it so much also this is a beautiful card and this is the lover's card i like it and this is the chariot hermes chariot it's very impressive i love the uh, the justice card i love the flowers Themis, and this is the alchemist is the hermit the wheel of fortune and the energies is the 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 strength card i do adore this hanged man it's one of my favorite hanged men look at it and his the his hair it's like roots and it's branches and i do adore this card so much one of my favorites and this is the strength card without a title a keyword and this is the her the temperance card the devil also this is one of my favorite tower cards and my favorite star cards beautiful star look at this gorgeous star card it is stunning stunning and the moon the sun the judgment card and the world and the 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 ones are dragons all the cards are red to uh, uh, because of the fire energy so it is really well sought off and this is the valet the, the the knight the queen and the king the cups are all in green i love this two of cups you see the sun and moon here and it is beautiful really all in green and then here we have the page the knight queen and king the swords are all uh, i think these are hoax beautiful really and i love the colors i like it it's different than the the masonic tarot this is the messenger the cavalier this is the queen and the king and the core the the stones are the pentacles the suit of pentacles here we have the court cards so i do like this deck very much and i got it from amazon i think 2000 and maybe 18 i got it at that time i'm not sure if it's still available or not but really it's a gorgeous deck a very nice deck and it might be out of print soon so if you like it go ahead and purchase it and then i have this beautiful spanish tarot by fournier the box is quite large compared to the small come on ah it is really annoying uh -uh. the box is quite large and the cards are quite small this is the spanish tarot by fournier and i like this deck also very much beautiful it has these bags and i edged it in yellow and it is a beautiful cute deck i like the background that it is beige so it is uh, the size is very nice like fournier decks they are always small so it is a beautiful easy deck that you can have in your pouch uh, really a, a handy mobile deck and uh, very sweet and cute i like the quality of the cards and it is um, a nice deck here we have the the ones also the the colors i love the colors i do love green for the ones you see very pretty i like it so much and here is the are the court cards and my ace of cups my adorable ace of cups i like the colors that are used it's different it's not like the italian deck and it is really unique i like the size uh look at the swords here even the tone of blue is different so i really like it 
it is a beautiful deck you know when you have a deck where you feel that it's handy it's easy to use and i love the pentacles the coins the colors are gorgeous so this is a beautiful handy deck it's the spanish tarot by fournier and i do like it really these are the backs and i edged it and it's a beautiful sweet cute deck my last deck is this uh, golden tarot of the tsar and this is by los carabeo a gorgeous deck i just did a walk through this deck uh, maybe uh, a couple of days ago i was just mentioning that the guidebook is the little white book is perfect and although I don't like these uh, little white books, but this one is really interesting. It has small uh, uh, details and a like introduction to talk about the Tsar and uh, the iconography, the icons that are used. I would like to t mention something that um, here, you know, of course, that in Russia, the, it's the Orthodox Church. And they are, uh, they do like to, to, um, the, they do, how can I find the proper word in English? I mean, icons are really important there. I'm not an, a Christian, so I, I, I cannot say a lot uh, deeply about this. But here in this uh, introduction, it talks very nicely about the, uh, how the difference between the churches and, uh, and also, there was a strict code that was written that established the characteristics of each image and the rules of composition for the icono states. And so, uh, the, the, the artist, the creator who is Atanas Atanasov, uh, uh, he avoided reproducing the acropitous images that is the icons which are said to have appeared miraculously without human intervention uh, Atanazov did not reinterpret the tarot or modify the icons but rather adapted the tarot to the icons by associating the traditional meaning of each card to a biblical, biblical subject or the portrait of a saint so this is a quite unique deck and uh, amazing especially when you know the background and i do love it it has these gorgeous backs i edge it in red dark red it is uh, the background is all gold and it is gorgeous it is gorgeous let me show you something else because um here the measures, each of the measures represent something. Like here, it's not the, the normal images of the cards that we are used to. So this is the fool which uh, portrays the possession of Gerasa. Um, the magician is the resurrection of Lazarus. Saint uh, Paraskeva is the high priestess. Mary the virgin with the baby is the empress. The holy savior is the uh, emperor. Uh, the, op the apostle Peter is the, the hierophant. It's a stunning deck. The annunciation is the lover's card. Ascension of Elia is the chariot. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, really. And the Arch, uh, Archangel Michael is the um, justice card. Saint John the Baptist is the hermit. The Archangel Gabriel is the, the wheel of fortune. Saint George and the dragon is the force, the strength card. Saint Nikitas is the hanged man, death card. And here the the um, Saint, um, Saint Sophia is the um, temperance card. It's gorgeous. The devil. Saint Simon the stylite is the tower. Look at this card. So it is really powerful. The holy uh, nativity is the star. Uh, the ascension is the moon card. It's gorgeous. The holy trinity is the sun card. And the final judgment is the judgment card. 
the four evangelists is the world card. And even here, all the minors, there is an icon here that is represented by um, an, a, a part of the Bible, um, like a phrase in the Bible or a, an occasion or whatsoever. So here, these are the, this is the, no, I will start. This is the ones, yes. So the eternal father is the ace of ones. Meditation of Saint pa uh, Panaret is the two of ones. Saint Paul sails toward uh, Syracuse is the three of ones. Very uh, powerful and quite uh, sophisticated deck. It's not a normal deck that you will find all the time. There is a lot of study and work that has uh, that's behind this gorgeous deck. And the four of uh, ones is the kiss of Judas. The five of ones. It, no, this is the, the, the four of ones is the miracle of the icon of the virgin. And the five of ones is the kiss of Judas. The six of wands is the victory of St. George. I have to rely on the guidebook because it is. I don't want to make any mistakes. The seven of wands is the St. Demetrius and the Antichrist. Eight of wands is St. Leontius fights for the faith. And the cards are... I mean, the icons are very cute and quite detailed. This is the nine. St. Acacius and Simon of... Uh, uh, siren is the ten of wands and here these are the court cards like any other deck and for the cups the chalices the chalice of eternal life no this no why what's this why is this here yes this is the chalice oh, i think there is a mistake here something is wrong here just a moment uh, these are the court cards of the cups here is the cup uh, i think uh, 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 yes i think i did uh when i was uh putting the deck in order i did some mistakes so anyhow the the ace of the chalice of eternal life is the ace of cups you see the image here the two of cups is joseph and the virgin mary the Three of Cups is the wedding of David and uh, Bathsheba. The Four of Cups is the prophet Elia on Mount Horeb. And so on. I, I don't want to read all these, but I did um, um, mark them because it's quite helpful. These are the icons and the, uh, the, the cups are here. Quite beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And here we have the court cards with this beautiful gold foil and here is the suit of swords and each one has an icon and it's described so a very unusual deck very unusual deck educational uh, and really uh, a very uh, remarkable deck like no other and here is the court of uh, pentacles this is a court suit of pentacles i'm sorry i do mistakes because i i started to be uh, to feel like um, you know when you lose your uh, concentration <laughs> so these are the pentacles and the icons and really lovely so that was my last deck the golden tarot of the tsar a beautiful underrated deck that it's worth um, a lot of love and attention and it is really a remarkable deck that uh, um, i mean it needs to be known more so that was my last deck the of my top 10 uh, classic marseille decks i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to do another video to share my um, the rest of my marseille collection uh, so um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and bye.